This video will show you how to find the zeros of a function using your TI Inspire calculator. From your home screen, let's open a new document and add a graph. We're going to type our function right here. So let's type x to the third minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. And let's hit enter and see what that looks like. My zeros are where my graph crosses the x-axis. As you can see, here is your x-axis. And it's crossing here, here, and here. Okay. I don't want to guess where it's crossing the x-axis, so let's see if the calculator will tell us. Go ahead and open up the menu. And we want to analyze the graph. Now, let's trace it. I want to trace the graph. Click 1. And you can see my cursor perched up there. Again, left and right arrows make it move. So let's move it towards the left. And you'll notice when it gets here, it tells me when it hits a zero. When I click, it will open that point for me, and then I can move on. So my first zero is that x equals negative one. All right, we're going to move here. As you can see, it's showing me where my y-intercept is. It also shows me the maximum. And I'm going to keep going, and there's a second zero. Click to lock it in, and you can see I have another zero at x equals 2. I know it crosses one more time, so I'm going to keep going. There's a minimum underneath there, and I come up the other side, and there is my third zero. Click to lock, and my third zero is at x equals 4. So this graph has three zeros x equals negative 1, x equals 2, and x equals 4.